Yeah, yeah we're going to water the plants. That's it. Oh, next one. An ordinary task, but next in one. an extraordinary home. Meet Phil, Wayne, David and Josh. They all live together as part of a social care scheme called Shared Lives. And there's one more David, now. who has severe autism, came to live with Phil and Wayne four years ago. With constant care and support, his speech, communication and confidence have okay. all developed. Ta -da. Ta -da. Hello, my name is David Nichols and I didn't live in Phil and Wayne. And David we've had since uh, he was 18. Um, he's autistic. Um, and then Joshua then we've just had over a year um, and he's got special needs. Um, both lovely boys, uh, they've settled well into the house, we've had no problems with either of them. Um, what we do find good is that the family is still involved with them, um, so they can see you now a difference in the boys as well. Shared Lives sees adults and oh, young people who need long-term support move in with an approved carer in a family environment. <laughs> This is my room. Welcome in. Josh, who also lives with a couple, is testament to this. I've loved it here ever since. I, I think it's the best place on earth that I am right now because if I wasn't, then I would just not be as happy. They truly are amazing. Why are they so amazing? <laughs> because we all do everything together and that's because they, 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 they take me away to places. They also... They do things for me that are so nice. I, I also, I also love them so much. The scheme also gives people the skills they need to live independently. We give them independence. We give them help them to make decisions, choices, um, just to promote them to grow. Because at the end of the day, they're two lads in their early twenties. We want them to do what other people their age do, and that helps them grow. But since they've moved in with us, we've made them feel as if it's their home as well as ours. We've never once said to them, this is your lounge, that's your bathroom. It's, it's a communal area, it's our house. Is, yeah. Josh will, will call it his house, which is what we want them to do. We don't want them to think that they're just renting a room from us. We want them to feel as though they're a part of our family and living in our house. Carers are paid and fully trained as part of the scheme. And in Wales, almost 1,000 people are supported by a shared lives carer. There's an awful lot of people that don't fit traditional, conventional services. They need a more one-to-one -one approach. They should have flexible care that suits them, not a tick box exercise of something that suits 20 other people. People should have the flexibility and the personal care that works for them, with them. And that's what Shared Lives is. And we could do with a lot more of it. Although challenging, and Phil and Wayne say the job is the most rewarding thing anyone can do. It is a lifestyle. It's not something that you yeah. can switch off from or over a weekend think, oh, I'm, gonna go, enough, so I'm going off, I'm going out this weekend. It, but definitely do it. It's so rewarding. This may be an unconventional house, but it's certainly a happy home. Sean Thomas, ITV News, in Llanelli. <laughs>